This is a review video on my Echo One M28 sniper rifle. Um, it's bolt action. It includes a bipod and two mags and one sling mount. You have to buy the other one, and you have to buy a scope. Um, I posted a um, uh, unboxing like a long time ago. Uh, oh, and it comes with a. Uh, threaded thing for a uh, suppressor or whatever you want on it um I, but i posted an unboxing on this ooh, a long time ago um so i'm just now getting around to the review but this thing's amazing it shoots like i got chrono the other day at like 495 was the average um it's pretty freaking cool i have a 3 through 9 by 40 scope on it nc star scope on it with scope covers um, it's bolt action, the safe, the, sorry, I had to close my door so my cat won't get in. Um, the safety is right there, that little knob right there, right there if you can see it. Um, up is on safe, I think, yeah, down is off of safe, wait, no, down is safe, up is off of safe. And then it's bolt action, you know, you gotta pull it up and then pull it back and then push it in and pull it down. Um, the uh, little stock thing, the stock is, the stock is, um, adjustable right here by this thing. Just twirl it whichever way you want to and it'll adjust. And then the, um, bipod it includes is not, and just for y'all, this gun does come in two pieces. So you have to put it together with some screws and stuff that it comes with. And you have to put the bipod on and stuff. But the um, bipod it comes with. There, the bipod it comes with is um, metal and it has the adjustable leg thingies. There's several different things. Both of them are, both legs are adjustable. And then it can also fold up, right, like that, for if you were doing, like, I guess, running or something, you didn't want it to break. But it, you can take it off if you, you can take it off, like, I guess if you wanted to, you could take it off within, like, a minute or two in a game if you needed to. Um, hold on. The gun does come with rails right there on it, already on it, which is a really good thing. Um, the, uh, bipod is not a railed bipod, like it, it's a weird little thing, like you put it in a hole and then you tighten it, yeah, it's weird. Um, and then if you're wondering, I do not have an orange tip on mine because mine broke and I had to go get it repaired. And when they repaired it, I guess it, like the glue came off a long time because I used it in the summer and it got super hot. So the well, glue came off and I could just like take it on and off if I wanted to really easily. But I guess when they were repairing it, they, um, lost the orange tip. Um, it does have adjustable hop-up. Pretty easy to get to. It's right here on the side where that silver sticker is. Um, the scope I have on it, the NC Star 3 through 9 by 40 scope I have on it is really, really good. I love it. Um, I'd prefer to have, like, a 3 through 9 by 50 scope. But this one's works good. It was like thirty dollars at Airsoft Atlanta, and the gun was like two hundred and ten, I think, at Airsoft Atlanta. Um, the the scope is metal, but which I bought separately. The stock adjuster is metal. The back of the stock is rubber. The bolt is metal. The trigger, the trigger um, guard, all that stuff is metal. The bipod is metal. The Barrel, uh, everything's metal except like the body, which is polymer. The sling mounts are metal, um, and like I said, it only comes with one, which is already installed on the back here for you, if you can see that. And then you have to buy no another one, which I thought was really retarded. I don't, mine might have not just came with the second one, I don't know, but I had to buy another one. And um, it's like right there. It's kind of hard to see. It's a different one than that one on there is though. Um, what else? Like I said, it shoots like 495 average. Mine does. Um, FPS with 
20 grams. Yeah, 20 grams. Choose like 5 something with 12 grams, which don't use 12 grams in your gun. Use .2s or .20s or higher. Um, to install the little threaded thing that to put a suppressor on it or something. And Echo One sells a suppressor, especially just for this. It says like Echo One M28 uh, suppressor barrel extension or something on it. But what you do is you take the orange tip off. And then this other part just unscrews, and it looks just like that. And then to put the other one on, that it does include this, like I said, um, you just screw it on, and then like that. And if I had a suppressor, I would put it on there, but I don't have a long suppressor yet. So, yeah, good thing it comes with that, because I was really happy when I found that out. Um, what else? Put that on later. Um, very nice gun. The bolt is fairly hard to pull back when you first get it, but like, you know, if you use it in a bunch of games, you get used to it. I have not used this on a field yet, but I did get it corona after they got it repaired for me. Um, I use it like, you know, like outdoor games when I play with my, my neighbors and stuff. Like, um... Uh, like on Wasteland and stuff, check out those maps, um, whatever they're called. Check out my videos, like Hazmat Shuffle, I now have a video on that. Capture the Hidden Flag, I used, I did not use it in those videos, I used my Troy, Echo 1 Troy M4, which I have a video on that too, but, um, I did not, I do not have any videos of this in action because I never had my camera when I used this, and I haven't been to anywhere where I can use it in a while, so, um, that's about it. Um, the rails that are, it is included are metal, if I forgot to say that. Uh, be very careful with the safety switch, the up and down little lever thingy right here, because mine broke and I had to buy a new one from Echo One. Just be very, very careful, because the one I came with is like really cheap plastic, it's not even ABS, it's like the cheap plastic. And this one, the one you can buy off the Echo One USA.com website is... It's not metal, but it's a really good... I don't know, it might be metal. It's metal or really good plastic. But it works perfect since I got that repaired. Um, uh, this gun's really good. I'd recommend getting it if you love bolt-action snipers and you don't know what to get. Um, this one looks really cool, too. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.